it's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed. Buy up your pad and pencil, I give you a piece of my mind. In my opinion, nation, the sun is gonna surely shine. Stop all your fussing, slap on a smile. Come out and walk in the sun for a while. Don't fight the feeling, you know you wanna have a good time. And in my opinion, nation, the sun is gonna surely shine. Tonight on Boston. Hey, Stay out of the camera. You ready, sweetheart? Let's go. All right, that's it. Come on, get out of here. I said get out of here, all right? What is it? Over 102. You're a sick puppy. Next year, I'm getting a flu shot, I swear. Yeah, me too. The worst part is I just have to lie here in bed all day. Well, I'm going to make it easier for you. So what videos did you get? Let's see. I got uh, Truth or Dare. This is Spinal Tap. Very funny. Uh, the Last Waltz and uh, Don't Look Back. I'm sensing a theme here. There's nothing like watching overindulged rock stars to make you feel better. You really should try and rest if you can. I know. I'm sure I'll doze off watching a movie. OK. Which one of these do you want to see first? Surprise me. All right. When I get back, I'm going to make you some chicken soup. How does that sound? Jewish. <laughs> I'm kidding. It sounds great. Thanks. Rest. Burnt my lips. Johnny for me. You were fantastic tonight. You were wonderful. You were absolutely... All right, all right. I was fabulous. Now let it go. Sorry, man. Nails. Well, another day, another $780,000. <laughs> Don't talk to me about money. How many times do I have to say this? I hate money. It's filthy and it corrupts. Sorry, babe. Just get me to my jet and out of this town. Right, babe. Hi, Johnny Depp, please. Oh, hang on, Johnny. Here he is. Toes. Hello, Johnny? Listen, Johnny, I can't see you anymore. I just can't, that's all. Don't make this any harder for me. Stop crying, Johnny. You know how sensitive I am. Sadness just ruins everything. Hey, easy! That's skin, not leather! Yeah, take it easy. That's skin for crying out loud. Uh, what about the T-shirts? 50-50? What planet are you living on, Sid? It's 95-5. That's right. No, no, Sid, it's take it or leave it. There are no deals, Sid. With my own mother, it's 95-5. Sometimes I think I'll just chuck everything, just walk away from it all. I know I could be happy traveling around the world by myself, 
Just a backpack, a bicycle, and a platinum card. I believe there's only one way to attain a lasting world peace. Are you sure I'm lit all right? It's perfect. You look great. Because you got a light over here, but no light on this side, so how can I not have shadows? The light from the window fills it, honey. You look fantastic. If my nose looks like it belongs on Mount Rushmore, I swear your hamburger. Could we get some more light in here, people? Where would I be without Blossom? I mean, uh, I'd probably be a mailroom boy in some television station somewhere. The woman made me. I love this part. This is the part where he asks me what it's like to be so great. I mean, how do you answer a question like that? Gee, Phil, it's great to be great. The audience would have hated me. Even though it's the truth. He's here now? Well, who gave him, who gave him our hotel room number? Well, you can kiss your job goodbye, pal. Idiot! Would you describe my movements as cat-like? Yeah. Go ahead. Your movements are cat-like. Thought so. What? Well, uh, sweetie, I, uh, you really look great today. Did I mention that? You've got yucky news, I can tell. Well, uh, honey, it uh, seems uh, somebody let your brother into the hotel. My brother Joey, he just hangs around feeding off my fame. Thinks he's got talent. He's sweet, though. He's a uh, sort of my Tito. Skinny girls are nice like a bell or a chime, but I'll take a fat girl every time. Yes, I'll take a fat girl every time. Boy. What do you think? It's cool, Joe. Very it's cool, cool really man. cool. You are Way smoking cool. Frosty Major. Cool. Yeah, see, and uh, nobody does stuff fat chicks, and since there's a lot of them, I figure it's like this big, fat, untapped market. It's good. Very it's good. good. Really You're using good. your head it's stuff. Good. Cool. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you talk to your record company for me, see if you can get me a deal? Set it up. Say no more. It's a done deal. All right. <laughs> During this lifetime? The most talented kids I've ever worked with. Let me think here a minute. There's uh, young Michael Jackson, little Stevie Wonder, itty bitty Blossom. You know, back then she was supposed to open for the Rolling Stones, but you know what? Mick Jagger heard her and he said, nobody, nobody can follow that act. Influences? I don't know, let's see. Uh, Catherine Hepburn, of course. I love that stuff Madame Curie did. Say who else? Well, just the obvious ones. Indira Gandhi, Margaret Thatcher, Jamie Gertz. She is so cool. I've got every one of her records, and I love her, and I want to be her. I legally changed my name to Blossom. I don't think that's obsessive. Do you think that's obsessive? I don't think so. Do you think so? You look beautiful. Five minutes to showtime. You really look great. He's here. Who? Who? Derek Slade, the biggest movie star in history. Why didn't you tell me you were dating him? I don't have to tell you everything, do I? Oh, my God. He's here. Hi, babe. Hi, Hansel. Who are all these people? These are, you know, my people. Get rid of them. Get lost. Okay, everybody out. She said out get lost. Everybody Come on, out go. Out of the place. Get out. Barbados, a la plata. You too. Honey, there are 80,000 people in the stadium waiting for you. You look very good tonight, incidentally. Beautiful, actually. Who's this? My father manager. Hey, Nick Russo. Must be tough. What? Well, you know, having your father as your manager and, you know, having him around all the time. You're fired. What? Look, you've had a really good run, but I think it's time to just move on down the road. But I... Take a hike. Adios. Aloha. It's over. Done. Nick has left the building. 
Okay. Okay, if that's what you want. But, uh, I'm still your father, right? I'll get back to you. Now get out. Alone at last. You want me to turn off the camera? No, of course not. Dear God, I know you're busy with world hunger, terrible diseases, and the future of the planet. But this is really, really important. Got a big show here, and earlier today I had a frog in my throat. I love Blossom. She bought me this house, got me a Rolls Royce, and an autographed picture of Jamie Gertz. She only asked for one thing in return, that under no circumstances was I ever to contact her again. Now, I don't know whether you've ever spent much time with Blossom, but I think I got me one hell of a deal. Blossom and I have this real give and take relationship. She gives me money and I take it. <laughs> she won't survive. She can't make it without me. No way. I mean, who's she gonna get to take my place? I'm happy to be representing Blossom, and now that I am representing her, she's gonna be bigger than any star on Earth. Bigger than Ali, bigger than Tyson, bigger than life itself. Blossom is gonna be a super sensational star, and we're gonna make her a lot of money. I am so excited. What do you mean? I'm just telling you what they told me. If you mention God during the show, they'll arrest you. But why? This is Colorado. Apparently, they don't believe in God here, at least not officially. Oh, my God. But I've got a whole number built around the Gnostics of the Coptic Church. We've got hooded robes, candles. We've even got a mechanical lamb that bleats in ancient Hebrew. How can you call this sacrilegious? Hey, pal, I'm talking to you. It's the law, and the law says it's sacrilegious. Well, fortunately, I answer to a higher authority. A higher authority than God? That's right, Buster. I'm with Don King. Isn't that wonderful? I am so excited. I think we were at the at the Hyatt on Sunset. And I think I think it was Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, me and Blossom sitting around, uh, and you know we were we were playing. And suddenly in the middle, she got up, she ran over to the television set, and she slung it out the window. The three of us looking at each other, going. You murdered, you slayed, you dismembered. Yeah, I know. Do you think we'll get arrested for mentioning God? No, how could they? The Pope was in the second row. Lots of times after a concert, celebrities and VIPs come crawling around backstage. And once in a while, the biggest of the big. A network executive. Hi, I'm Warren Littlefield. Mm, nice to meet you. I like the show. Did you? Yeah, I thought it was really cute. Cute. Yeah. You thought it was cute? Yeah. Cute. What an interesting choice of words. What does that mean, cute? I mean, puppies are cute. Baby harp seals are cute. Uh, I meant I liked it. But you thought it was cute. So you thought it was quite a lightweight piece of fluff, is that it? No, no. I, I, Look, I didn't mean Why don't you just get out of here, huh? Really? Go, go back to Beverly Hills. I mean, go, get out. Really Would you get him out of your place? Take your cute flunky with show. you, too. Cute. Yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember the first time Blossom came into my acting class. We all made fun of her like, oh, now she's going to be an actress. But then she did the final scene from Thelma and Louise, both parts, and actually drove a car through the wall of the actor's studio. And I said to myself, 
mean, this chick has range. She caused all kinds of trouble on the set of 90210 when she was dating Luke and Jason at the same time. You know, I called her and I said, you listen, sweetheart. You do anything to mess up my show and you are history. Hmm? I'm not going to beg you, Blossom. You're not? Oh, please take me back, Blossom. <laughs> Have mercy on me, baby. Please, 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 please take me back, please. When I was married to Blossom, it was like living in a goldfish bowl, you know? People coming at you all the time, cameras always in your face. And it got worse when we left the house. All right, that's it, come on, get out of here. I said get out of here, all right? God. Mr. Faustino, please, what? please, I got 12 more questions. We'll have a mocha latte, we'll talk. My ex-brother-in-law. Cut, cut. Blossom is such a big star that whenever she comes to one of my restaurants, I give her the best table in the house. She always orders the same thing, two steamed lobsters. She eats one and she takes one home to do a puppet show for children. I like Blossom so much that I autographed my first cookbook for her. Please buy one or even one for your mother. My father and I have a wonderful relationship. I love him dearly. Like right now, I've got the flu and he's taking care of me. You know, bringing me videos and stuff. What? What do you mean, what? You said you've got the flu and dad's taking care of you. I did? Yeah. You're burning up. I am not. I'm fine. Are you sure? Positive. Let's just finish this, okay? What was I talking about? Dad. Oh, yeah. I love him with all my heart and soul. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. You gonna give him his job back? I don't want to discuss business. You said you'd talk about anything. You said I had all access, all everything. I won't talk about it. We have a deal. Turn the camera off. No. Turn it off. No. Turn it off or you're fired. Blossom, you, my dear, are a disaster. Who looks much more like a fading flower. Do you hear what Mr. Blackwell said about you? What? He said you were a fading flower. Did you mention Cher, Madonna, or Diana? No. Did you spell my name right? Yeah. Send him some candy. Blossom is beyond cool. She sets her standards so far above anyone else, it's ridiculous. I mean, her video for Tastes Like Chicken will never be surpassed. I had dumped my father for Derek and hired Don King. But then I dumped Derek, and now I was looking for a way to dump Don. <sighs> it's so hard to find someone you can trust. No, Mom, it's no problem. How many tickets do you need? Seven? At seven is fine. Yes, I can get them. Mom, it's my show. My name is on the building. You want seven tickets? You want 700 tickets? It's no problem, okay? All right, so you want seven tickets. Okay. That'll be $228. No, make it out to me. What about Meryl Streep? You're prettier. Cher? You're prettier. Madonna? You're prettier. Julia Roberts? You're prettier. Cindy Crawford? You're prettier. You know what? You're the only person in my life who's not afraid to tell me the truth. She's a genius. There's no question about that. I mean, she sold, what, 700 million albums in January alone? All things considered, I'd say she's the perfect entertainer. I mean, her only discernible flaw is her total lack of talent. Here it is. Looks great. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So, how does it work? Let me show you. Ta-da! That's great, Reggie, but how does it help me? Watch. Ta-da! Oh, my God, that's incredible! I know. It's a triumph of microchips and diodes. Total Japanese technology. That was Eric Clapton. It was? Yeah, but you can program anybody. Jimmy Page, Eddie Van Halen, anybody. I'll touch one button and you're a virtuoso. Let me try. Yeah, yeah.
fantastic. Could you tell I was faking? Oh, not for a second, darling. You have a great talent for faking. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Blossom saved my career. I was down and out in the gutter. And then one day, she ran me over in her limo. The settlement from that lawsuit helped put me back on my feet. Look, I realize Don King is a great manager. He's probably the best manager in the history of the world, but I'm your father. Nobody can take care of you like your daddy can. I know you can do the job. I'm more concerned with how it'll look. I mean, dumping Don King for you? People will think I'm nuts. Including me. There must be a way to work this out, Blossom. Maybe there is. I am so excited! We got the most splendiferous star in the universe in this limousine! Her magnificence is overwhelming! That's right, folks. Step back, step back. Let us through. Let us through. Let us through. Let us through. Let us Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Let us through. Step back. Step back. Okay. Get back! Get back! <laughs> oh, Dad. I just had the worst dream. Oh, I could tell. But I think your fever's broken. I think you're gonna be feeling better soon. Oh, I hope so. Oh, you've had a rough time, kiddo. What was it about your dream? I was this totally awful person. And you were there, Dad. <laughs> And so was Anthony, and Joey, and Toto, too. The dog? No, the band. So, tell me, what was it about? I was this completely self-centered rock star. It was terrible. Oh, it's OK, honey. It was just a dream. Oh, it was only a dream. Give me a manicure, baby. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love turkey. I love that poke salad, honey, but I love that turkey. You know, I love the way your mom used to cook me that turkey. That turkey was juicy. This turkey's dry, but I love turkey. Rough, rough.